Human beings communicate by telling one another stories. We learn this as children. It's inherent in our language. But what actually makes a story a story is somewhat mysterious to most people, even though we do it naturally. It's all there for the trained eye to read, Watson. There are numerous elements to making an unforgettable story unforgettable. But three of the most critical of those elements I call the three C's. Character, conflict, and catharsis. All memorable, popular, unforgettable movies require the audience to live vicariously through the eyes, through the point of view of a singular, unique character that we call the protagonist. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. In order for the story to be a fulfilling story, the protagonist must be in search of some kind of a goal. But along the path toward achieving this goal, the protagonist, the hero, must overcome numerous obstacles in the way. Without that conflict, you really don't have anything that's worth watching. Otherwise, it gets to be what's known as boring. This might come in handy. As your hero encounters one conflict after another, they will eventually get to a point where their goal is in sight. This usually occurs at the highest moment of tension in the movie, which is called the climax. And as your protagonist, your hero, achieves their goal, it will come out either positive to them or negative to them. And it can be a happy or an unhappy ending. And that will result in what's called a catharsis. I found my father. Catharsis is a Greek word that means an emotional purging or an emotional release. It's the feeling that you get when you've watched a movie or a TV show and you feel after it like you're lighter than air, that you can float out of a theater. And it's my belief that catharsis is the single reason why we watch movies and TV shows and read books and enjoy stories of fiction in particular, but uh, nonfiction news stories as well.